It is fascinating that stem cells provide a certain degree of hope for medicine. Scientists worldwide invest in stem cell research in the hope of one day finding the antidote to incurable diseases through stem cell technology. Diseases such as Alzheimer's, diabetes, and cardiac infarction. Anthony Ho has been working as a clinician and a researcher at the University Hospital in Heidelberg since 1975 and has been engaged in stem cell research in Germany, Canada and the U.S. since 1983. He is responsible for countless advances in the field of bone marrow transplants and has saved many patients' lives. His main focus of study lies in the area of blood stem cells. Stem cells are essential for our blood system. Our bodies need to produce millions of new blood cells every day, and these originate from stem cells which live in the bone marrow. It is here that stem cells produce eight different types of blood cells in the form of white and red blood cells. Corina Amberga is one of the many patients that owe their lives to stem cell transplantation. The young policewoman developed a serious case of lymphoma in 2005, shortly after the birth of her daughter. At the University Hospital in Heidelberg, doctors informed her that her chances of survival were slim. My health was in a very poor state, so of course I was very concerned about my future, and I was afraid and worried whether or not I would have the strength to make it. But I was still optimistic that it would all end well. My motto was, hope dies last. Her body's immune system was severely weakened, and after a failed chemotherapy, her doctor, Peter Drega, was convinced that there was only one option left in order to save her life, transplanting bone marrow cells from a healthy immune system. A donor had to be found quickly, as time was running out. Time was very limited, as the course of her disease had become extremely aggressive, and the standard therapies had already failed. Now it was important to find out whether this form of therapy was a possibility for her. The most difficult thing is the diversity of the system in which we work, namely the blood group system of white blood cells, which is especially complex, as there are more than a hundred thousand different possibilities in which people can differ. If you actually manage to find a match, you need a very large donor pool to draw on. If the genes of donor and patient, the so-called HLA factors, are a match, a peripheral stem cell collection follows. Stimulated by growth hormones for several days, there is an increased mobilization of stem cells from the bone marrow, which are then harvested from the circulating blood. These blood stem cells are then administered to the patient, whose own immune system has previously been suppressed. It was spectacular to realize that a little transfusion bag could save my life. And it was a shocking and humbling experience to know that my life was dependent on it. Initially, you imagine a huge ordeal when you hear the word transplant, and in the end it turned out that it was just a little bag that saved my life. The transplant of bone marrow stem cells is the last hope for many patients and it shows how stem cells can already be successfully implemented as a therapy. Nevertheless, more research is needed to better understand the process of self-renewal and differentiation of blood stem cells, as well as their interaction with other cell types. Anthony Ho's research is focused on exploring factors in the environment of the bone marrow, the so-called stem cell niche. These niches consist of cells and proteins whose interactions are yet to be examined in more detail. They determine why and in what way blood stem cells remain eternally young and how they manage to produce functional blood cells through an organized process of differentiation. A disruption of the interaction between blood stem cells and their niches could convert the blood stem cells into chaotic leukemia cells. Leukemia stem cell research is about discovering in what way this capacity for self-renewal went wrong so that the cells constantly renew themselves without developing further into cell specialists. Leukemia is cancer of the blood. Blood stem cells mutate into leukemia stem cells. 
These produce increased amounts of white progenitor cells, which do not mature and thus do not become functional. These leukemia cells spread in the bone marrow and interfere with the normal blood formation. As a result, the blood no longer transports enough oxygen and loses its function to heal wounds. For patients with leukemia, the research of blood stem cells is essential and might be life-saving. The memory of nearly dying and losing the opportunity to watch my daughter grow up and that she might not even remember me was a pain that still lingers today. And that's why I'm deeply grateful that I had the opportunity and the chance that I did and can be here today in good health. Clinical development takes decades. We have learned a lot from the establishment of blood stem cell transplants. We need to have a lot of patience. And it requires much more long-term investment in fundamental and molecular biology research.